All right, let's make some rain. This is a little bit more complicated than something like snow, but we can absolutely make it rain in our Roblox game. First things first, boom, drop a part into our game and then scale it up to be the size of the area that we want it to be raining in. So again, move it, get it big, nice and big, and then we're gonna move it up into the air. This is going to be our rain cloud. So we want it nice and high in the air. We're also going to anchor it there so our rain cloud doesn't come crashing down on our head. We're gonna go ahead and set the transparency to one so you can't see the cloud. It's gonna be invisible. It's just going to be creating some rain. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a part to it. We're gonna add a particle emitter. This is going to emit some particles from this shape. But you can see up here, the particles are going up from our cloud. Well, we want it to rain down, so let's go ahead and change the direction in which our particles emit. Right now, emission direction is top. Let's switch that to be bottom. Also, while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and set the speed to max speed. Then we're gonna also set the rate to be the max rate. That way we have as many particles falling as possible. We're also going to set the size of our particles to be a little bit bigger than what we have here. Let's just go with three. So if we go ahead and play our game right now, we can see that we've got like a blizzard of snow in our game. So cool, we've created snow, but we want rain. Well, let's do that. So let's go ahead and this texture right here, we're going to change. This is the default texture. This is that white dot. In order to add our own texture, what we need to do is find an image of the texture online. I'm gonna go ahead and search for Roblox rain texture. Go to images and I am going to grab a transparent image. Actually, let's just go for Roblox Rain, and boom, this one right here looks great. Right click, save image as, we're gonna save it as Rain Drop, and we can just save it anywhere we want, it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna come back to my game, and I'm going to publish my game. We can't import images or other assets from outside of Roblox unless our game is published. So we're gonna go ahead and publish this. I'm gonna call this Rain Test 2 and create. Now we have an asset manager. We can upload an asset. We can choose our raindrop. It's imported right here. Now when we click on texture, we can choose our raindrop texture from there. Now when we play our game, we've got what looks like actual rain in our game. Now you might wanna take that part and allow some transparency to it or turn some shadows on, something like that, so that it's a cloudy day. It's up to you. You can change the light in your game, but we've made it rain in our Roblox game.